And welcome back. We had some great matchups in high school basketball tonight. We start with boys double A. This feels like a football Friday for me. We have highlights from six games. This one at Lincoln, number one against number two. Jared Jaros from the outside jars it. Three of his points and he had uh, his team was up seven nothing. In fact, they're up nine nothing when Tyler Hyatt goes off the uh, glass inside. And it's looking pretty good for the Pats, but back come the Lynx, they come roaring back. Evan Talcott for three of his 17 points. Jackson Hilton, watch him from the outside, draining three of his 14 points. And the Lynx suddenly take the lead in the first quarter, quick comeback. And in fact, they're up by nine when Talcott hits the three. But the uh, Patriots gave the Lynx fans little to cheer about after intermission. Jaros on the inside, two of his 24, and Lincoln rallies to win it 68 to 59 at the Lincoln Gym tonight. We also had the third ranked O'Gorman Knights playing the fifth ranked Riders of Roosevelt at the Sanford Pentagon. O'Gorman Zach Norton with three of his 14 points. He tied for the uh, team high in the game tonight. Fourth quarter, Roosevelt trying to uh, get back in this one. Tucker West down low, lays it up and in, and he is not done later. It's gonna be West with the steal, and watch what he does here. Nice. Roosevelt takes the lead, 39-38. Final seconds, O'Gorman for the win. They work it inside to Okoy Okoy, and there's your game winner. O'Gorman, 42-41 in a thriller. The other ranked team in AA is Yankton. Wouldn't you know it, they were in Sioux Falls tonight at the Washington Gym. Owen Fesser with the easy basket right there for the Bucks. Later on, Washington's Carter Shields. Carter with a steal, look what he does! We had a couple of steals and dunks. Shields with 15 points in the game tonight, but it was uh, more of this. Matthew Moore's inside with a layup. He's only a sophomore and he's just getting better and better and better and better. He had 37. Yankton wins it 69 to 54. They are 12 and 3. We also had a great matchup in Brandon where the Lynx hosting the top team in Minnesota Class A. Miniota led by 2,000 point scorer Lydia Sussner, but there is Trinity Law as she takes it off glass and scores for the Lynx. Later on, it's going to be Sussner. She went over 2,000 points in her last game in her career. Uh, she's really good on the inside. And and they try to stay close. She's going to get the rebound and put it up and in. She had 20 points in the game tonight for the Vikings of Minneota, best known for their great football teams. But Brandon Valley, too much here. Nice crossover by Trinity Law. She puts it in. She had 16, and the Lynx win it 59-39. Back out to the Pentagon where the top-ranked O'Gorman Knights took on Roosevelt. Emma Ronsick pops it, hits it. She's good. She's really good, as a matter of fact. That's why she's going to play D1 college basketball. It's Ronsick again, this time with a deuce. She had 16 points in the Knights, up 10-0. Brooke Almendinger snaps the uh, run for the Knights as she scoops off the glass. Nice shot by Brooke, but later Isabel Moore. She's going to nail a three-pointer for the Knights. She had 14 points. From the wing, it is nothing but net. Final score, 48-31 in favor of OG. And finally, the Lincoln Patriots made the trip south on Cliff Avenue to play the second-ranked Harrisburg Tigers. Morgan Hansen, the left-handed shot off the glass. I was impressed with that. Pats would take the lead after trailing at halftime in the third. Janaya Ugoski, so good in the paint. She led the Tigers with 14 points. Hansen, remember the shot on the inside? She goes outside for nothing but the bottom of the net there. Pats up by seven at the end of three. Hansen had 15 points. But Kiki burnt, big three for the Tigers. Late in the game, they take a one point lead before Emma Osmondson goes hard to the basket. She gets the, the uh, score, she had 17 points. And the Patriots pull off the upset, final score. 53 to 52, Lincoln's had some dramatic wins in the last two weeks. O'Gorman again wins at 48 to 31. Brandon Valley over Miniota. West Central wins, they're having a great year undefeated. Vermilion and Desmet victorious. Bridgewater Emory and Rapid City Christian tripped Elmont Armor, Armor in overtime. 
Howard win on the boys' side. There's your Lincoln score again. O'Gorman by one on that late basket by Akoy. Yankton gets 37 from Moores. Madison wins tonight. Huron over Pier, Lennox over Tri Valley, Watertown and Okaboji both win, along with Bonham and Trip Delmont Armour and Wrestling. Millbank and Pier were both winners. To the ice, where the Wild played in Buffalo tonight. Watch this. Um, banging away and finally getting it to go in. Charlie Coyle, and this goal's even crazier. Watch what Zach Parise does. Bangs it off the goalie skate, it's in, it's over the line. But let's go to the scoreboard, it goes to a shootout, and they lose 5-4. to four. And on to Memphis, where the Timberwolves played. There's uh, Mr. Ryan Saunders for the Wolves. Watch this dunk by Jackson. It was 21-4 to four in favor of the Grizzlies. Uh, Carl Anthony Towns had himself a night, 26 points and 18 rebounds. Look out below, but not enough. Wolves lose a tight one, 108-106. And I'm out of, out of time and out of breath. I'm done.